um, I'm just going to make use of that time when my son is sleeping upstairs now to tell you a little bit about the soulmate workshop, soulmate workshop that is coming up in um, July. I ask myself really, you know, why is it that I feel so guided to work a whole day with you around soulmates? And it really is a deep sense of compassion that I feel towards that sense of longing or the desire to belong that I can see in so many of my clients' eyes. And I know this from myself, not so much with a physical partner, but more in the spiritual world. I have such a longing, such a desire um, to become one with God again. Uh, but of course, for me, it feels kind of natural to surrender with divine timing and kind of make the best out of um, hanging out with you guys here on planet Earth. But coming back to the soulmate workshop, so that's really, it's a, it's a genuine sense of compassion that I feel and that is going to hold the day. Um, yes, so the soulmate workshop is going to be one full day. We're going to be hopefully quite a big group on that day. So we can do a lot of group work in it. We'll have a lot of creative tools. You'll have the whole day all of me available, which means I'm coming with all of my hypnosis tools, theta healing tools, sound tools, and well, all, all the rest of it. For those of you that know me know that it can potentially be quite a creative and deep, transformative day. We'll start off by arriving arriving where you are now, arriving with a sense or desire for belonging, arriving with all of your fears, with all of your frustration or anger. And we're doing what one of my best meditation teachers that I had said to me, if you can't get out, go in. So we will go, once we've arrived, we will go using hypnosis right deep into those fears, deep into that sense of belonging. So you can really learn about it rather than always trying to push it away. Going in and really feeling it. Holding it. Accepting yourself for it. Once you've arrived and you accept yourself for where you are now and for all of the journey, the magical journey, the wonderful journey that brought you into that present moment. We're moving on into looking into all of those conditions that you have set up in order to find a soulmate. A lot of us have attached conditions like I have to completely love myself in order to be with someone or in order to be with my soulmate um, or I have to lose weight or well uh, I don't know I have to study go to university or well, whatever that is all those conditions will identify them or I'll set up tasks in the framework to help you identify the conditions that you've set about set up and then we we'll use some tools from Theta healing, um, doing some belief work around those conditions and freeing yourself from them again. So you know you can attract a soul at any time. It's nothing you should have to do or have to change. Um, and um, we'll also look into um, some sort of um, comfort zone that you most likely have put yourself in by not being with your soulmate. So it might feel uncomfortable, but another part of you might be so used to it that it has become, in a very funny way, a comfort zone. And again, we'll look into that. We use probably some creative materials for that. It might be some, some painting or some clay work going on. I have to feel into the group a bit nearer to the time to see what we're going to do there. So once you've identified all those things where you are now and all the bits and pieces that have helped you come to the point where you are now, we'll look into transforming, into letting go, into healing. And uh, part of that healing work will also be role play, group work in bigger groups and some space and some time just for yourself to reflect. The whole aim of the workshop is to, well if you'd like 
imagine yourself as a, as, as a magnet. And at the moment, that magnet doesn't seem to attract, it kind of repels the soulmate. Because there are, there are soulmates, there's more than one soulmate, plenty of soulmates around here on this earth. But for some reason, you're not being that magnet that pulls them towards you. So the whole aim of the workshop is to change your vibration into one that attracts, that gives a space for your soulmate to walk into your life, really, without you having to do much. And I'm looking forward to see you there. Thank you, namaste, and bye-bye.